Hey everybody, Steph will be doing well. Why is it that we're herded into the pews and why is it that we sit through these endless, completely boring family dinners? And why is it that we were herded into the stupid little robot rows of public schools and just forced to be so tiny? This is the machine of the world that we are all crushed into these tiny cubes of self-doubt, self-loathing, controlled, repressed, conflicted, ambivalent, ambiguous, forgetful, impulsive and regretful, regretful and impulsive. Every action we take, we question. Every action we don't take, we chastise ourselves for. Every decision we doubt, every indecision we scold ourselves for. This is the machine of the world. This is how humanity is enslaved. This is the cage. The cage of selflessness. I am not allowed to have my instincts. I'm not allowed to follow my passion because we're just afraid of being wrong. I mean, we are taken from whole sleek mammals and turned into broken, constantly turning, sputtering, sparking robots. And we're trying to come back to life, and we're struggling and striving to come back to life. But, oh, my brothers and sisters, it is so hard. It is so hard, and of course it's hard. Because if it wasn't hard, God, wouldn't that be humiliating? If we didn't have to strain every muscle, every fiber, if we didn't have to evoke every atlas world-lifting shred of strength that we could conceivably possess, and continue day after day. If we didn't have to do that, wouldn't it be ridiculous that humanity were enslaved? If the bars weren't very, very, very thick, wouldn't it be ridiculous for us to be enslaved? No. The bars aren't thick. The bars are the world. The bars are everyone. There is nothing larger, deeper, more powerful, more rich, more wonderful, more beautiful than your sovereign soul and mind and heart let's throw the instincts in as well there is nothing larger than your judgment but when somebody puts forward a proposition there is nothing in their mind that is larger than your judgment nothing in their mind that is larger than your judgment and every concept that they appeal to is in their mind, not in reality. I mean, when you look at how strong human beings are, when you look at how magnificent and how powerful we are, when we are free, well, how strong does the net have to be to contain the great white? Without a doubt, there is a connection between everything that happened in your past and everything that is occurring in your present. And to free ourselves from that, we must return and we have to re-experience the past. We have to understand it as, as it was, not with our stories, but as it was. Not with our stories. We have to return to experience the past directly. Because the stories that we make up to dilute and dissolve the pain of the past is the prison that we're in. Right, we become addicted to stories for painkilling in the way that people become addicted to morphine for painkilling with similar results. So thank you so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. I will talk to you soon.